the concept with the shopping refresher is very simple. So the merchant feed is something that the company, the, uh, the retailer typically maintains, and that depends on which products they sell, what prices they sell, and for which brands they start selling. The product groups and the ad groups that you create in AdWords are based off of a static copy of that merchant feed. So when you created that structure, it depended on which brands, for example, your client was selling or your company was selling. If two weeks from now, after you've already created the ad group structure, there's a new brand that comes into the mix, well, AdWords doesn't know about that. That's why you have the bucket of everything else so that anything not captured in one of your existing structures will just go to everything else. But that's not ideal, right? If you have a new brand, you probably want to set the correct bid for that brand. Now, we know this is a, an incredibly cumbersome process because the merchant has to remember to tell the PPC manager whenever anything changes in the feed, and they have to know what of that is important. So did you actually structure by brand? Should I be telling you there's a new brand? Or did you not care about the brand? Did you just put every product in a single product group ID? Right, so there's a whole communication issue becomes really cumbersome. So what we've done is we got this shopping refresher. So what you do periodically is you say, uh, I wanna refresh this particular campaign and this particular ad group. Okay, so we do it ad group by ad group, and then we will tell you within this ad group, it looks like there's actually 86 new structural elements that we need to add, and there's four that are no longer necessary. By default, we will only suggest making the new ones and leaving the ones that are no longer necessary in place, but if you wanted to remove it, just click the box, and then we'll also remove what is no longer necessary. And then if you wanted to understand uh, what exactly those new entities were, well, you can see here that they had previously structured this campaign by brand and by product type zero. And back in the, in the past, they had Adidas Crewnecks, but recently they've actually added a new level of product type, which is men, ladies, and mock neck. So these need to be added. Uh, and then you can open up each of these individually, and then you'll see what becomes added through that. So uh, rather than you having to communicate back and forth with whoever manages the merchant feed, now you go through a tool like this. Um, it automatically figures out your existing structure in AdWords, maps that to the merchant feed and whatever is in there at this point in time, and then we'll build that out for you. Um, and of course, that happens as a one-click optimization. So once you click on that link right there, that's when the whole thing gets pushed back into AdWords. 